Today, I'm going to be telling you guys the maximum amount of profit you can make from every single business in GTA 5 Online. If you're new to the game and you're looking to start making money from businesses, it's always good to know which one will make you the most amount of money and which one will make you the least amount of money in a certain amount of time. I hope you enjoyed the video and let's get it started. I know you guys enjoy playing video games, but it can be very hard to grind on every single game, especially if you don't have a lot of extra time. If you need some help on any of the games that you play, check out Digazani in the description and they will supply you with everything you need in any of those games and get 10% off by using code Frolix at checkout. First up on this list is going to be MC Businesses. We're going to be talking about you guys buying all five businesses buying supplies, and all the businesses are fully upgraded, and how much money you can actually make from this, because obviously you'll be starting out, and then at the end of it, you'll be fully maxing them all out, and you'll have all of the MC businesses. So, the total profit that you guys can make from selling a full amount of stock from each and every single one of these businesses is 1.449 million. Now, we are also going to be buying supplies. So, after supplies have been taken off of that profit, you totally walk away with a whole price of 650 $52,000 of pure profit. That's how much money you will make after selling a full amount of stock after supplies have been deducted. So, if you guys grind out all of these businesses, your total profit per hour is roughly about $126,000, which is not terrible, but it's also not great. Now, the cost to make this profit, and it's a fair bit, you have to buy all five of these businesses and you have to fully upgrade them all. So it'll end up costing you roughly $9.9 .9 million to buy and upgrade these businesses. These are also the cheapest locations that you guys can buy these businesses at. So the total amount that you'll have to save up Total is $9.9 .9 million, and that is a lot. So with these stats, it'll take you about 78 hours of grinding in order for you to actually make that amount of money if you are making $126,000 from the start. But you won't be, because obviously you're going to have to buy the businesses individually. You'll start making less when you first start out. So in reality, you're most likely going to end up spending more than 100 hours, up to maybe 160 hours grinding these MC businesses to make back the money you're going to end up spending to upgrade them and buy the other MC businesses that you no longer own. So you really do have to spend a lot of time on this to make a bunch of money. And in the end, you'll end up making about $126,000 per hour if you guys buy all of the MC businesses. Next up is going to be Special Cargo. The max amount of profit you can make in a large Special Cargo warehouse is $2.2 million, plus bonuses depending on how many CEOs and MC presidents are in your public session. So let's talk about the profit you can make from buying one crate, two crates, or three crates at a time. If you buy one crate at a time, it'll make you a total profit of $1.998 million after deducting supplies, two crates would be $1.776 million, and three crates would be $1.544 million dollars so you do lose out on almost four hundred thousand dollars buying three crates at once instead of buying one crate at a time now let's talk about the time it'll actually take you to source these crates if you buy one crate at a time it'll take you roughly about 900 minutes also 15 hours two crates at a time will be about 536 minutes around nine hours three crates will be about 400 minutes and around seven hours so you guys can see the time is cut in half buying three crates at once opposed to buying one crate at a time so when you actually do the calculations if you buy one crate your total profit per hour is $132,000. Two crates at a time is $188,000, and three crates at a time is $226,000. So you're pretty much doubling the profit you make per hour buying three crates at once, and opposed to buying one crate at a time. And just so you know, everything in this video is calculated if you are doing this solo. If you're doing this with a crew, everything is completely different. It'll probably take you a lot less time to source crates. It'll also probably take you less time for MC businesses but it also depends on if you have people to help you through this time and I don't think people are going to be helping you guys for either 15 hours, 7 hours, 9 hours or whatever the time is for you guys to actually fill up your warehouse or whatever business you're using. But for special cargo, the max you can make per hour is about $226,000 if you are doing it solo. Obviously you can make more if you have people that are helping you but like I said we are only calculating this if you guys are doing these businesses solo which most likely will be the case. 
Next up is going to be vehicle cargo. Now, before I actually tell you exactly how much money you can make per hour and the maximum profit, there is a way that you guys can maximize exactly how much money you can make, and that is by only sourcing high-end vehicles. Now, I'm not going to go over it in this video because it'll take too much time, so I'm just going to put a link down below in the description to a vehicle cargo guide that I made. If you guys are interested in doing vehicle cargo, be sure to check that out because then you will only be able to source high-end vehicles, making you the most amount of money, and that is also how we will be calculating it in this video. So the time to source each vehicle is a maximum of 15 minutes. On average, it could take you up to seven minutes. That's the number we're going to use for this. Doesn't matter if you're a veteran or if you're a noob, it'll most likely take you around that time, sometimes less, sometimes more. And there's a cooldown of about two minutes and 30 seconds between sourcing vehicles. So the total time Per vehicle is roughly around 9 minutes and 30 seconds. It might be less for you if you guys do vehicle cargo really try hard and you maybe you just get easier missions that don't take as long, but for some people it'll take a little longer. So on average to source these vehicles, it'll take you about an hour and 54 minutes and we are going to be sourcing 12 high-end vehicles. Each vehicle sells for roughly $100,000 minus $20,000 for upgrades. The total profit is $80,000. Now you can sell up to four vehicles at once, with a crew, but this video is for solo businesses only, but I will tell you how much money you can make if you do it with a crew. Between sell missions, there is a cooldown time. You'll be able to sell two vehicles per hour if you're doing it solo. So the total profit is about $160,000 completely solo. Now with a crew, every other person that you get added to your crew will double the amount you make per hour. Two people will get you $320,000 per hour, four people will get you $640,000 per hour, and three people will get you $480,000 per hour. So you can easily see how much more money you can make if you have a crew with you. But then again, most of you guys are going to be doing this solo. If you're lucky enough to get a crew, then that will definitely help you out. Now, during the cooldown time, you could source another one to four high-end vehicles, which would take approximately nine minutes up to 36 minutes, depending on how fast you do the missions and how long each mission is. It could take more time or it could take less time. You really don't know because all the missions are randomized. So the max profit that you can make per hour is $640,000 with a crew, and the max you can make solo is $160,000. But like I said, if you guys have a crew, they won't be getting paid except for the bodyguard cuts that you guys are actually paying them. They won't make any of the money you're making, which is why mainly it's a waste of time for them to do it, so that's why you'll most likely be doing it solo. But you can make a really good amount of money if you do it with a crew, but if you do it solo, you can also still make a pretty decent amount of money. $160,000 per hour is no joke. Next up is going to be bunkers. Now, the bunker we're going to be using in this video is the farmhouse bunker with full upgrades, and it costs $4,479,000. The reason we're using this bunker is because you can complete cell missions the fastest. It's the best bunker in the game. And also, I would not suggest just only grinding with the bunker. I would suggest doing this as like a side hustle kind of thing. Mainly focus on special cargo or vehicle cargo and then every once in a while go back to your bunker and check it out but we'll go over it right now so like i said the cost of this bunker and the cost that you're gonna have to try to pay off is 4.4 million dollars so buying supplies which is what most of you guys will want to do it takes roughly about seven minutes per unit to be produced which is a total of 12 hours and 48 minutes per unit is one out of 110 that you can hold in your bunker and of course that is with max upgrades so the time that it'll take you to pay off your bunker is about eight full cell missions supplies will need to be bought every two hours and 36 minutes and roughly five supplies will need to be bought costing about three hundred and seventy five thousand dollars now the total you can make selling far is about one million fifty thousand dollars after supplies, the total amount that you profit is about $675,000 and the profit per hour is about $52,000. Now, when I was actually doing this and I was stealing supplies, you could either get $15,000 worth of supplies or you can get up to like $30,000, $40,000 worth of supplies. It always depends. But one thing I did notice is if you guys are going to be getting $40,000 worth of supplies, those stealing missions will actually take you like 10 minutes, maybe up to 15 minutes to complete. But those easier missions where you have to steal supplies and you're only stealing about $15,000 worth of supplies at a time will only take you maybe like two minutes, three minutes. I completed in I think like three minutes time total to complete that and honestly I only got 15k worth of supplies. So when you actually think about it, 
If you guys can make a certain amount of money in a certain amount of time faster, then it's not worth it to actually steal supplies, but we'll still do the calculations for this. Now, if you guys do actually steal supplies, it'll only take five cell missions to pay off your bunker. And when I say cell missions, I mean five full cell missions. Previously, it was eight if you guys bought supplies, and that is selling for $1 million, profiting $652,000 each time. So if you guys do supply runs, you will make that $1 million profit every time. You will also have to do the supply runs, which can take a maximum of 30 minutes that's the time limit that you get on average they'll take 10 minutes like i said you can complete it in two minutes or three minutes and some of them will take up to 10 minutes maybe 15 minutes to complete and you'll have to do this roughly five times to fill up the supply bar now that is a rough estimate like i said i got the supplies one time and it was worth fifteen thousand dollars of supplies another time i did it it was worth forty thousand dollars worth of supplies but it all depends on which mission you get you could get five short missions or you can get two long missions you really don't know until you actually end up stealing supplies but in the end game when you think about it is it will take about an extra four hours at most guaranteed it will not take you any more time than that to fill up your supplies in your bunker in order for you guys to get a full amount of stock that could be up to 16.8 hours to actually fill up your entire bunker's stock and of course we are only talking about manufacturing here no research is in this whatsoever we're just talking about money so you guys are gonna be spending an extra four hours max to actually do this, and you'll be saving about $375,000. If you guys can make $375,000 anywhere else in the game, it is worth it for you guys to just buy supplies. Like we went over earlier, if you guys are stealing three crates at once, from your crate warehouse or from your CEO building, you guys are making $226,000 per hour. And in four hours, that'll go up to almost $1 million of profit. So when you think about it, you'll make a lot more money just buying supplies instead of stealing them. So I would highly suggest that you just buy supplies for your bunker instead of stealing them so you guys can make more money elsewhere. Like I said, the bunker is like a side hustle. Next up is the air freight cargo. Now, a lot of people say don't do this, and I agree with them. It is not worth it for you guys to do when it was double money and xp for the air freight cargo business you can make a little bit of money a pretty decent amount actually but it's still not worth it for you guys to do it takes way too long for pretty much everything that you do with this business and in all honesty the only reason you would want to buy a hangar is so you could store and customize aircrafts in gta 5. I would not suggest doing air freight cargo and I'm not going to bother to explain it in this video. Anything else that I said in this video will most likely be your best bet. Air freight cargo is something you should definitely stay away from unless you want to customize planes, then just buy the cheapest hangar and then you can have some pretty cool looking planes and helicopters. Next up is going to be the nightclub. You can make money from this, but you have to have other businesses in order for you guys to actually make a pretty decent amount of money. And those two other businesses are going to be Special Cargo and also an MC business where you acquire cocaine. Those are the two most profitable ones you can make from your nightclub. And nightclub is pretty much just the end game scenario. Once you guys have a maxed out cocaine business, and I said maxed out because that's how you make the most amount of money. If you don't have that, you won't make as much money. You want to have a maxed out cocaine business and a special cargo warehouse, then you guys will be able to make a ton of money from nightclubs. The most profitable sources, like I said, are from those two businesses. You will make $10,000 per hour from special cargo in your nightclub and about $8,700 from the cocaine in your nightclub. This is if you have a maxed out cocaine factory. If you don't, then you will not make that amount of money. Now, now you also have to spend a few million dollars on your nightclub to buy floors and also get two technicians so you can acquire the goods, which will also cost you a little bit of money. Like I said, this is an end game scenario to make you guys a little more profit every hour. So the most you can make from special cargo is roughly about $500,000 to fill up the whole stock and about $200,000 from the cocaine business. It takes 60 hours to fill up the special cargo portion of the nightclub and about 20 hours to fill up the cocaine portion of the nightclub now of course if you guys want to just get this done quickly you could just leave your playstation or xbox on and then by the time you get back on it'll go up every little bit as long as you are afk in a gta 5 lobby so after that 60 hours by waiting for your special cargo goods to acquire and your cocaine goods have acquired about what three times at that point you guys will make an extra 1.1 million dollars now to do that it'll take about 2.5 days but you really don't have to do anything which is the best part so you'll make an extra 1.1 million in two days 
So if you guys really wanted to just buy that one MC business, then also buy the special cargo warehouse, and then also as a side hustle, have your bunker going at the same time. And then in 2.5 days, you'll have a ton of money because you'll be able to sell all your special cargo profit, your cocaine profit, your bunker profit. And then in that 2.5 days, you'll have an extra $1.1 million sitting inside of your nightclub. Now, of course, after 20 hours for your cocaine, you will need to sell. So you're gonna sell your cocaine three times and by the third time you guys will have the special cargo units produced inside of your nightclub fully maxed so then you could sell the full stock total there for 1.1 million dollars and that is including the other two sell missions you did for the cocaine previously totaling out to about three missions total so it is technically worth it to buy a nightclub i would highly suggest it as an end game scenario but in the end which business should you buy which will make you the most amount of money solo per hour well it was pretty simple Let's go over it one more time. Number one is gonna be special cargo, netting you $226,000 per hour. Number two is gonna be vehicle cargo, $160,000 per hour solo. MC businesses make you $126,000 per hour solo. And then the bunker makes you about $52,000 per hour solo. But like I said, the bunker is a side hustle. So we're not gonna include that in this. So the worst one you could do is gonna be MC businesses on this list. And the best is special cargo. So obviously when you look at it that way, the one you guys wanna grind out is gonna be special cargo and then have a side hustle going for your bunker and then also in the end buy a nightclub then you guys will be making the most amount of money in gta 5 and honestly it won't take you guys that long if you guys were to just go on for two and a half hours every single day what you would do is this you would go to your bunker you would resupply then go to your special cargo warehouse and start buying crates keep doing that for two and a half hours go back to your bunker resupply and then get off gta 5 do the same thing every time you start up gta 5 and then by the end, you'll have a full warehouse and a full bunker. You sell all of that. And then you guys make a ton of money. You'll probably get around $2.5 million total when you actually sell both of those in the end. But in your account, it'll show as a lot more. It'll probably show as $3 million. But don't forget the cost for supplies will be added into this. So that's why I said roughly $2.5 million, possibly a little bit less. But that is literally the best ways that you guys can make money in GTA 5. Those are the best businesses to make you the max amount of profit per hour. Hopefully this video did help you guys out. I apologize for making it so long. There was just a bunch of information I wanted to tell you guys. So then you buy the best business to make you guys the most amount of money. Thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video.